Hello everyone, I'm Jake Zemlow with Elderly Instruments, and here in the showroom today I have Lil Rev. How you doing? Real good, good to be here with you guys. Yeah, and thanks for coming in. We had you uh, pick a couple things out around the store, uh, what's the first one you grabbed? Well, uh, first of all, coming to Elderly is like, you know, a kid going to Toys R Us, right? If you're a musician or you are you curious, um, you're going to find, you know, so many different ukuleles in here. It's fun to just experiment. Um, I'm an endorsee of, of Kanalea, so I like to hear, you know, I'm looking for what they're doing and watching what they're doing and how they're building mm -hmm. them. And so this one's a concert and it's a good choice for someone looking for a ukulele uh, and not sure what to get because uh, a lot of people are just coming to ukulele, they want to get something decent. Um, we'll often ask, well, how do I know what size to get? Right? A soprano might be too small for some people. Mm -hmm. uh, tenor might be too long of a scale for others or baritone. Concert is a big happy medium. It's, it's really the nice, yeah. it's a happy place to be. The scale length gives you some options. And um, you know, all these kind of lay are gonna sound really nice and warm and sweet, real well-rounded, mature tone. And uh, you just can't lose with that if you're looking for uh, a decent ukulele. While you were here, you did a couple workshops. For someone that would be interested next time you come to the store and do those, what should they expect? I've got about 30 or 40 different classes that, I, that I've worked up over the years that I've been doing this. Um, I've got about a dozen Hal Leonard books on the market, so sometimes they revolve around the different um, books that I've done or things that are coming up. Mm -hmm. um, for example, um, you know, I teach claw hammer, I teach chord melody, I teach finger style, I teach blues concepts. Uh, but what the through line through a lot of what I do and what I'm most well known for is how to integrate strum hand technique. Uh, things that get the ukulele player out of basic down up, down up strumming mm -hmm. and help them start to integrate roll strokes of a variety of sorts, different triple strums, uh, tremolo, uh, and then just, just trying to build good technique into yeah. what they're doing. Showing them that there's a lot more than just the, the basic intro you got it. of that. Yeah, yeah you got it. Awesome. So there's, there's a lot of standard strum hand technique that often is neglected. Once you get beyond doing down up, down up, a lot of wrists, a little bit of elbow, Ball, you start to feel comfortable, you know some chords. Um, there's a whole family of what we call roll strokes. So when I first started playing ukulele, there were a lot of these great players out and about across America who were integrating a lot of these kind of things. The purpose behind this is to create some rhythmic nuance in what you're doing, rather than just down up, down up strumming. So you would punctuate a song in a given place in a chord progression where maybe you just want it to stand out. So you know, if I was playing, you know, So if we had triple strums, we had some tremolo, we had a variety of roll strokes. Once we go through the repetitions of learning these kind of things, and most of them, you know, one movement, right? It looks pretty easy, but there's, you know, there's a, there's a real, you know, methodology to learning how to do this kind of stuff. Triple strumming like you saw me do. That's just three movements, but it takes a lot of practice and a lot of repetition. But man, once you get it, it, it just lifts your ukulele playing into the stratosphere because anyone can learn a chord and do some down, up, down strumming, which is the most inviting aspect of playing ukulele. It's the common denominator for anyone who wants to make music with other people. When you add the strum hand technique, then you're taking it to a place where there's tradition and there's um, authenticity and all these other things that really live in, inside this instrument uh, that, that can be neglected if you don't, want to go beyond basic chords and basic strumming. And, and, and a lot of people don't, right. you know, but uh, um, it's just, you know, we're just here to teach whatever people are interested in. And, uh, and that could be blues or basic, you know, beginning ukulele, be beginning melody playing. It's all good to me, no matter what I'm teaching, I'm happy yeah. that I have an opportunity to, to share it with people. Absolutely. Yeah.
So we have uh, several of your books that you already had published uh, in stock. You have a new one coming out, is that correct? That's right, yeah. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, thanks for asking. Um, I've got a book out coming out about Clawhammer. You know, I think this has been building. There's a lot of in uh, interest when I'm, um, when I'm out and about, when I'm doing my webinars. Increasingly, I'm seeing, we're seeing, not just myself, but other teachers as well, uh, do this style from Kathy Fink to Aaron Keim. Uh, and a lot of us who like the old timey and the bluegrass and the string band material, uh, a real interest in taking banjo techniques. And elderly is like home of the banjo, right? You guys have tons of banjo stuff. So because we have the high G, the re-entrant G, we can get a drone sound. And so after teaching people how to do this basic bum diddy, bum diddy, bum diddy, and then how to integrate that with melody. So I've got a book coming out through Hal Leonard, um, which is home to a lot of my publications. I, mm -hmm. I do some self-publishing as well. I'm told that by the end of this summer, there'll be a, a little rev book on Clawhammer. Awesome. So uh, I'll um, play a little tiny little phrase here and uh, the easiest uh, claw hammer piece a student could ever learn. Until cooking. Yeah. <laughs> Tough, tough, tough things go wrong, wrong, wrong. Well, you better be strong. 